the vegetables and mango salad complement nicely this expensive shellfish to make it an elegant lunch or light supper. To make the lobster salad façon chef Eric, it means chef Eric's way, you will need blanched zucchini, carrots, asparagus, potatoes, peas, diced red onion, diced celery, diced tomato with other seeds, diced mango, mayonnaise, a poached lobster, lime juice, cilantro or coriander, different language, some herb, Lebanese cucumber, this one is organic, salt, freshly ground peppercorns, balsamic reduction, and paprika oil. Place the mayonnaise in a bowl, add the lime juice, and whisk together. Then add the coriander, mix again, and add the vegetables. So the diced tomatoes, the carrots, blanched of course, the blanched zucchini, the blanched potatoes, the celery, the mango. If mango is not available, you may consider using papaya. It works well too. The peas. The asparagus, but I reserve the tips for garnishing. And the red onions. Mix well, season with salt and freshly ground peppercorn to taste, mix well again to combine the seasoning, leave the salad in the fridge while we're going to take care of our animal. Let me show you how to separate the meat from the shell of the lobster. First of all, separate the head from the tail, like so. Then, cut the legs off. Remove the claws from the head, just pull. Then empty the head, like so. and remove everything in there. Don't be impressed by the green stuff that you can see in the head. This is all good stuff. This is the coral of the lobster. Okay, so it's, uh, it's normal. So remove everything. Here I'm, um, I'm going to keep the shells and I will make a lobster oil in a separate movie. So just empty the head like that. Good. Then with scissors, follow the little line here from the head. This is if you want to make a salad and use some of the shell to garnish or decorate your plate. So just cut with scissors. Cut. Cut that in half if you want. Then with scissors, we're going to cut through here to divide it in two, to go between the eyes. There we go. And then we're going to finish with the knife. There we go. So pull out everything again. So I wash the shell under cold water so they're clean 
and later on we'll be using them to garnish a lobster salad. Then for the tail, remove this black green stuff here. Yeah, this is the coral too, so we're going to cut it off. I'm not going to put it in my shell, I'm not going to use it, okay? Then wash the tail, okay? And we're just going to give it a rinse. Press down to break the shells. And then cut with scissors. And peel it off. And pull. There you go. Reserve that. I'm just going to break those pieces from the tail, just like so. I can use that to decorate. Oh, and there is meat too. Break the clothes, like so. I like to place a rag over because that way we won't have too many splashes. And with a hammer, break it up. Okay, good. Remove the shells. There we go. Nice. It's intact. And I have removed the little bone on the inside. Okay. Then same thing here, remove the shells and pull out the meat. And you make it with scissors to help you out. Let's do the second claw. So, break it up. Break it up, pull. And with strong scissors, I'm not using regular scissors, I'm using sturdy scissors. You don't want to get hurt at home, so make sure you get good equipment. And pull the meat out. I'm reserving the shell because I'm going to make a lobster oil if you're not planning to use the shell, then discard them. And if you want to make the lobster hole at a later date, then freeze them and use them accordingly to the recipe. I'm going to remove two legs also from the shell and I'm going to keep them for my lobster salad just to decorate. So it's time to plate our lobster salad. Place a three inches ring in the center of the plate then add a layer of salad and I'm using a slotted spoon to drain the sauce otherwise it will be too liquidy so just toss it and let it drain well good then remove the ring Add some lobster, either from the tail or from a claw. Garnish with lobster shells. Cut a few cucumber slices. Place it on each side. 
garnish with one asparagus, cut in half, lengthwise, add the head, actually I'm going to put that piece here, because that will be the tail, right? And the head side this way, there we go, and one of the leg on the side. Then garnish with balsamic vinegar reduction. And a few drops of paprika oil. And because we add cilantro in the salad, we could put a a sprig of cilantro over. Bon appétit!